Hey everyone, and welcome back to another one. Welcome to Program Code 101, the place where we learn the art and skills required to develop code. I'm your instructor, Mr. Decoder. This is a new method of delivery that I am testing. Please let me know in the comments whether this new method is effective or helps your understanding. In our previous video, we learned about the concepts of selection or if statements. In that video, we saw the formats of each type of if statement and also worked a few examples. If you missed the details of the previous video, please select the link above to review. In today's video, we will be looking at the concepts of iterative or repetitive construct. We will also be generating pseudocode that demonstrates the use of iterative or repetitive constructs in various scenarios. Iteration or repetition construct is the process of looping. This can be defined as the presentation of instructions to be performed repeatedly, based on a given condition. The basic idea of repetitive code is that the block of statements is executed again and again until a terminating condition occurs. Consider the following instruction. Write a pseudocode to read 200 numbers and calculate and print their average. To efficiently solve this problem without repeating lines of code, a repetitive construct is best. Repetition statements are used to repeat the same code multiple times in succession. The number of repetitions is based on the criteria defined in the loop structure. Types of loop statements. Loops can fall in one of the following categories. Counter-controlled loops, pre-condition loops, post-condition loops. Counter-controlled loop. With this type of loop, instructions are executed and repeated a predetermined number of times and is terminated when the counter reaches its intended value. An example of this loop is the for loop, precondition loop. With this type of loop, instructions are executed and repeated only after the condition is tested and is found to be true. Repeated instructions will then terminate when the condition becomes false. An example of this loop is the while loop, post condition loop. With this loop, Instructions are executed at least once before the condition is tested. Statements are then repeated when the condition being tested is found to be false. Repeated instructions will then terminate when the condition becomes true. An example of this loop is the repeat until loop. Lay out an example of for loop. For loop statement. A for loop is classified as a definite or finite loop. It repeats a block of instructions for a set number of times. The layout below shows the basic structure of a for loop statement. The keyword for indicates the start of the loop structure. The control variable is used to keep track of the number of times the loop will be executed. The number one indicates the starting value for the first iteration, and the letter n indicates the total number of iterations or loops to be made. The statements between the for and the end for keywords form the loop block or compound statement. These statements will be repeated for the set number of iterations specified within the for loop. The end for keyword is then used to indicate the termination point of the loop statement. Example of for loop. The following problem statement requires a pseudocode to read the name and two test scores for 15 students. The algorithm is then required to calculate and display the average test score for each student. The solution shows the for loop header that contains the for keyword the counter variable, count, the starting value to be stored in the counter variable, 1, and the ending value, 15, which indicates the total number of times the loop will be executed. The compound statement within the for loop then outlines the actions to be repeated for all 15 students. Each time a student's detail is entered, the counter variable, count, will be incremented by 1 until the total value, 15, is reached. Once the total number of iterations is achieved, the keyword end for is used to show the termination of the loop. Layout and example of while loop. While loop statement. A while loop is classified as an indefinite or infinite loop. It repeats a block of instructions until a certain condition becomes false. The layout below shows the basic structure of a while loop statement. The keyword while indicates the start of the loop structure. The condition when evaluated will indicate whether the loop continues or is terminated. The statements between the while and the end while keywords form the loop block or compound statement. These statements will be repeated until the condition becomes false. 
The end while keyword is then used to indicate the termination point of the loop statement. Example of while loop. The following problem statement requires a pseudocode to read a sequence of numbers, terminated by the value zero. The algorithm is then required to calculate and display the sum of the values entered. The solution shows a prompt and input statement being used to accept the first value. In the prompt statement, there is an indication used to give the user an idea what is needed to end input within the solution. The while loop header contains the while keyword and the condition num not equal to zero. This condition acts as the point used to determine whether the loop continues or is terminated. The compound statement within the while loop then outlines the actions to be repeated. Each time a loop is executed, a prompt and input statement is required to accept a new value. This new value is then evaluated to determine whether the loop continues or is terminated. Once the value zero is entered, the keyword end while is used to indicate the termination point of the loop statement. The solution then ends through the display of the sum of the values entered. Layout and example of repeat until loop. Repeat until loop statement. A repeat. Until loop is classified as an indefinite or infinite loop. It repeats a block of instructions until a certain condition becomes true. This condition is tested at the end of the loop after the block of statements are executed at least once. The layout below shows the basic structure of a repeat until loop statement. The keyword repeat indicates the start of the loop structure. The statements between the repeat and the until keywords form the loop block or compound statement. These statements will be repeated until the condition becomes true. The condition when evaluated will indicate whether the loop continues or is terminated. Example of repeat until loop. The following problem statement requires a pseudocode to accept the ID number for a group of students, terminated by the value 999. The algorithm is then required to calculate and display the total number of students entered. The solution shows a variable count being initialized to zero. This variable is used to keep track of the number of students entered within the solution. The repeat keyword is used to indicate the start of the loop structure. The compound statement within the repeat until loop then outlines the actions to be repeated. A selection statement controls whether the variable count is incremented by one. Each time a loop is executed, a condition is student ID equal to 999 is evaluated. If this condition is false, the loop continues, otherwise the loop will be terminated. The solution then ends through the display of the total number of students entered. How to choose the correct looping structure. Choosing the right looping structure is dependent on the problem presented. The for loop should be selected when you have statements that will be executed a set number of times. This set number forms the finite state of what is required for the for loop to be executed. The while or repeat until loops can be applied to similar scenarios, that is, when you do not know how many times instructions will be repeated, however, there is a terminating condition or value. This means that the selection of the while or repeat until loops is dependent on the developer of the solution and whether the solution needs the compound statement to be executed before or after the condition being evaluated. Concluding activity. Please use the activity below to evaluate and apply the principles discussed in this video. The problem statement requires you to accept 100 numbers, then calculate and display the sum of the numbers entered. Please place in the comments section your solution to this problem statement, or whether you want me to discuss the solution in the next video. In the next video, we will discuss the concept of totaling using loop constructs. We will also generate pseudocode using selection and iteration statements to determine maximum and or minimum values. Thank you for being a part of Another Remember one. to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.